Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and, uh, yeah, we had a rough time yesterday. Or, maybe not yesterday, but last episode, we had a rough time. I got my butt kicked by Odin in his, uh, water deck, which, yikes. Do not like the Umikura power-up. I need to power up my deck, but the only way I can do that is by going around and beating people up. So I actually need to start winning duels. And by doing that, I got $1,200 like that. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go over here and spin the wheel one last time and duel the final sentinel in our way. Ooh, I got a seven. I like that. With a seven, I can do this. Doop, doop. All right, you. What's your name? Who's your family? I'm going to go with scissors. It's important. Damn it. It's not important. Okay. Yay, still get to go first. This transcender's nice. So what is your deck name? It is Monarch's Lineage. Oh. Oh, a Monarch deck with Treeborn Frog and Lone Fire Ball. You know, a bunch of special summoning cards with your Monarchs. So even if I do set my trap cards, I should just assume Mobius. Mobius will come and kill me. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set this guy. I'm going to set this guy. I'm going to set, uh... This guy. And I'm going to end my turn. Let's assume that this guy's got his own heavy storm or something. I'll magic jammer obnoxious out of my hand. Save Blade Knight for the power buff. Ooh, okay. Reinforcements. Of the you know, go ahead. I'm curious what your deck is. Warriors. I thought you were a monarch. Oh, because that card special summons. I get it. Oh! Already going to pull off a monarch, are we? Well, that's where you're wrong. I'm not letting you do that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Wait, you're tributing two monsters? No, just one. Alright, which monarch is it? That one will let me draw two cards if you pick both my cards. That's a really good monarch, though. He did pick both, so I get to draw two cards, but... Yikes. Yikes, I lost my Sakuretsu armor. Oh, that sucks. And he still got another monster for later. So I'm going to have to destroy that other monster while I have the chance. Luckily, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of happy I drew two cards, though. So I'm not really upset or anything. I'm just going to set this. Set this. Attack with my good old-fashioned Mystic Tomato. And pray to God he doesn't have Soul Exchange. Because I don't have any more Magic Jammers to stop another Soul Exchange. Yeah, Mobius decks... Or Monarch decks, not Mobius. But Mobius is the scary one. Uh, Mo Monarch decks are scary. Not gonna lie, not a big fan. Uh, maybe it'll be less scary than a water deck that had Mobius in it, but we'll see. And you had another monster, Rock Spirit, which is gonna be Tribute Summoned for a bullcrap card. Or not? Okay, never mind, he's ending the main phase? Um... Hold up. Let me, let me check this. You're a level 8 light monster. Alright. You're a level... Oh, I need my level 4 tuner, which I do have in my hand. Should have summoned her instead. Mystic Tomato, you were a bad idea. You were a bad idea. You know what? Let's thin out my deck by getting a little bit destroyed here. It's alright. Nah, it's good. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. Need to, need to thin out my deck a bit so I don't draw these dark monsters. Um, I already lost my... Yeah, I already lost my other good one, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, go ahead, destroy my last tomato. Let me get Krebons out here. Krebons will be annoying to you. Unless you get Ryza. Ryza would suck. Don't get Ryza. Or Caius. Do, do, do not get Caius. Holy crap. That would suck, too. In fact, there are many Monarchs that would just not matter. Krebons would not be able to do anything against. They would just say, no, you lose. And with that Rock Spirit's effect, even my freaking Blade Knight can't destroy it in battle. Until now. In fact, I am very happy with that draw. I'm going to go ahead and summon the Blade Knight. And then with this power, well, I could also Synchro Summon. I think I'd only be able to make that Chain Dragon. Right? Level 6, yep. And if I did, I don't have any of those. When this card inflicts bad damage to your opponent, send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard, which could actually help them, because I'm assuming they don't run spells and traps, because they run Treeborn Frog, which they have not been lucky enough to draw yet, so, yeah, no way in hell am I playing into your hands there. 
I'm just gonna assume you're gonna destroy my Blade Knight later, so I might as well do as much as I can now. Honestly, I could defeat Rock Spirit later on, so I'm not worried about that. I'll uh, get rid of the Monarch that will defeat me. And the only card I can assume you would set is your Treeborn Frog, so let's just test the waters. Oh yeah, I forgot you had her. Okay, that's fine too. My back row makes me very strong thanks to Mage Power. And even if I lose my back row, I have uh, this girl in my hand, which means I could summon one of my super strong Synchro Monsters, which would be nice. Fence mode. Ooh, I like that. When an opponent goes into fence mode, that means you did something right. Swords is nice, but ah, uh, yes. Okay. Let me figure out what these light monsters do. Once per turn, you can change the battle position of one face on monster your opponent controls during battle between this card and a fence position monster. Oh, it's the piercing damage one. Okay. Alright, and what about this guy? Uh, if you do... Okay, when this card battles, you can activate this card's effect and declaration. If you do, this card loses 500 attack and defense permanently, and the monster it is battling loses 1500 attack. Hmm. Hmm, I can make him weak, but honestly, that doesn't matter. What matters is I need more monsters to get through all this crap. Alright, first things first, Rock Spirit's annoying. We need to get rid of Rock Spirit. Um, I'm assuming he has three Warrior Ladies of the Wasteland, so no matter what I did, I was going to lose uh, out on destroying them all. So let's see. Although I believe they have to summon in attack mode, which is good news. Yes, they do. You're going to take a big hit for that. You will die. I still have Dust Tornado and Threatening Roar to feel safe. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. What, what monster are you seeking? Another one. Yep, that makes sense. Don't worry, Crabons. As long as he does not have another Monarch in his hand, which I don't think he has. So, he, we have to hope he doesn't draw one. Do not draw a Monarch. I don't know any Monarch that would save you from much. A lot of them would. Oh, boy. We got another Rock Spirit. Fun. Is that it? I should have used Threatening Roar in time. That was on my that was my bad. The second he attacked, I think it was too late for Threatening Roar. Or maybe I just wanted to keep my big old attack. Oh shit, he actually has a Spar Trap card. Hold the phone. Let us not even let that breathe. Roll the Cree. Oh boy. That's a fun card. Fiend Mega Cyber. Oh boy. That's a fun card too. Uh, I'm going to activate Swords. I don't need it, but I'm going to use it just so I have more attack points. And I'm going to attack. Yeah, like I said, I messed up last turn. That's on my That's my bad. I'm going to save Fiend Mega Cyber, obviously, because it might have a better, idea, uh, a better effect once I get destroyed by these Monarchs. I draw Axe of Despair. He's going to become very helpful. Alright, all you get is your Warrior Lady. I don't know what other Warrior Monster you run that's Earth with less than 50 under attack. But we'll find out next turn. And you summon a monster. Let's see, if I can draw... What's a decent Warrior... What's a decent monster in my deck that doesn't need anything? Sasuke Samurai! That's right. This is a card that could do things. This is a good card. So, I drew an amazing uh, card right there because you aren't going to get an effect off. Let's find out what it was. It was the rat. Ooh, I stopped the rat. Okay. And now we're going to see if you have any more monsters because I've already destroyed all of the warrior ladies I can think of. And it was that guy, which I could totally beat with Krabons. You're out of cards. You have no Treeborns in the grave. I already magic jammed your, uh, your, your soul exchange. You're out of options here, buddy. You lost. You lost. Look at my field. You set a card, Sasuke beats you. You don't set a card, I'll beat you. Wait, you've been saving... You've been saving a tribute monster this whole time? Or have you been saving soul exchange this whole time? Mobius? Of all of them, it had to be Mobius? I mean, it's bad enough you did this to me, but holy crap. I can't... There's no point in threatening Roaring. Because he already lost his battle phase. Wow, what a turn. I'm honestly really impressed. Like, he's still lost, but what a turn. Why? Wait, why did he lose, guys? Because I'm going to summon the Fiend Mega Cyber. But Cooper, Fiend Mega Cyber ain't strong enough. You're right. I'm a Synchro Summon for once. 
It's time to bring out one of our boss monsters, the Thought Ruler Archfiend. My opponent is out of cards. He cannot come back anymore. Unless he draws Giant Rat, that'd probably be the only way. But other than that, he's done. I summon the Thought Ruler. I'm going to absorb all of them life points. Uh-huh. There we go. And you know what? I might end up needing this trap, just in case he pulls some real bullcrap off. But I honestly don't see any way for him to come back. I don't see any way. You drew a monarch, didn't you? Yeah! We did it! We have just enough damage to win. Even if I didn't draw a monster, we had just enough damage to win. Just in case, I'm going to summon Rodney Captain either way. And uh, let's do this, guys. We have defeated the Sentinel one try. And this feels good after fighting Odin. Odin was very, very hard. Yep. You have been defeated. And there we go. And there's some money. Not as much as the Odin guy, but I'll take it. Now, what else are we going to get for our troubles? I made it! I'm first! Wait, Trudge, what? Huh, what's this? A new kind of junk doll. Ugh! Trudge? Trudge? Uh, hang on, Trudge. You alright? Be careful, it has a Dark Signer card. Whoa, that's a problem. What? Surely not an Earthbound Immortal. Uh, he's lost consciousness. Hey, get this man some medical attention. Yes, sir. You say an Earthbound Immortal like when you fought Kallen. Yeah, that's right. The strongest card a Dark Signer can wield. Does that mean this guy Satur is a Dark Signer? We'll only find out by asking him directly. Alright, our path lies before us. Let's go do it. We gotta defeat these Earthbound Immortal Immortals. It's here, the Earthbound Immortal. Okay, Lazar, why are you happy? Oh, you talk too loud. Rex is here too. When communications with me, keep your voice down and pay attention. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, now I know. Alright, guys, we got a couple items. We got a couple bonus points. Uh, we got our butts kicked, 100%. I will admit it to the crowd. I've got my butt kicked in this area. But we still got to advance. We're going to Yggdras uh, number five. Oh, that's a lot of doors. I don't like it. Oh boy, is that Kiza over there? Is that cr is that all my friends? Well, it's just as I expected. Is they who are the ones who possess the ability to cross Bifrost and other Valhalla and enter Valhalla. Uh, okay, so yeah, all the signers and Leo. Oh, even though Champ and Jin. And that guy. I never got to duel. This is going to be interesting. What are you talking about? Ah, oh, sorry. It's nothing. Yeah, I have... How is it that you have an Earthbound Immortal card? Earthbound Immortal? Oh, that's just a replica. Why do you ask? A replica? If that's a replica, where did you get the original data to create it from? I'm not obliged to answer that question. What? What? However, if you are to be able to defeat me, then I'll answer one question of your liking. All right, well that's easily done. Come down here right now. Ah, uh, there's only one way to challenge me. You have to do the yeah. You have to beat the tournament. Okay, got it. Hey, old king. I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm the only one who's going to be challenging him. So we got the old king Jack and the older king Hunter Pace. Yeah, you're not even worth talking to. Damn. If there can be only one. Okay. Everyone's about to duel. There's a lot of main characters here. Yeah, the strongest one will get to make the challenge. In other words, one person will need to defeat everyone. Enough. The time for talk is over. It's time for you to put your pride on the line and your might. Oh boy. I'm excited and scared. So, there's a lot of main characters here. On the right, there's the characters I... Oh no, I wish they put Leo on the right. Never mind. Eh, let's just roll the thing and hope for the best. I got a four. Is a four good? Let's find out. So, I need a key to go right. And that's the way I want to go. So, I'm going to have to defeat Jin to do that. Jin is a level 10 high power point. You know what? I fought, I fought a level 30 Odin. I can fight you. Uh, oh, wait. Your name's Bolt Tanner in English. Well, your name's Jin in the Japanese version, so that's cool. All right. Let's do it, everybody. We're going to take on Jin. 
He's the one man that's I, I have I fought Bold Towner yet? I, I keep calling him Gene. I can call him either way, actually. I can't even get in trouble for that, because they're both right. This man uses an interesting Ushi Oni deck, which a lot of people don't even think about Ushi Oni as a monster. Hey, they gave him animations? Oh hell yeah. Okay, I don't know about that pose though. <laughs> I really don't know about that pose though. Um Oh god, that's I'm gonna damn. We need to talk after this bolt. I know you were in prison for a while. You probably had to join a gang, a very specific gang, but still, we we need to talk. All right, that's not good. <laughs> that was so awful. Oh man! All right, let's do some. Let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh. You already know what I'm gonna do because I got reinforcements in the army while I had a marauding captain in my hand, which means I'm gonna break the game. I get. The Marauding Captain, of course. And with this, I can... Actually, I can go... Ooh, I could do things. Um, Blade Knight's not strong enough without Command Knight. So technically, I can't do that. But if I don't do Double Marauding Captain, he's going to be safe. So I'm going to have to Double Marauding Captain. Yeah, I wanted to summon four monsters. I'm not going to. I'm just going to Double Marauding Captain just so I'm invincible. Unless he has a spell or trap card or monster effect, which all those things are likely, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let that happen. And then next turn I'm gonna go all out with Command Knight. Now granted this guy could totally summon his boss Ushioni, but Ushioni and Giant Ushioni can't do anything to me. Common Chariot. Oh, he runs a normal monster deck. Does that make it easier to get your Ushioni card? What did you throw out? Wait, what the hell is that card you threw away? Oh, I haven't seen that card since for a while, actually. Not since me childhood, as I like to say. And yeah, you're locked, Bolt. You can't really do much with Marauding Captains on the field. I hope I get one during the progression series. I only need one, but we'll see. I got a very good trap card. It's almost time for Blade Knight, but right now we're going to go ahead and summon the Command Knight to power up all my monsters. Bolt, you're in trouble. You're in a lot of trouble. Now, normally I would just go after his Great Angus, but like I said, he's locked, so I'm not afraid of it. I'm going to be patient. Yeah, this guy's deck's just a bunch of normal monsters. Next turn, I'm going to really go out. I could have enemy controlled this turn. I'm not going to. I want to save my enemy controller for a rainy day, which might be coming. Let's see what he plans on doing, though. Bolt, you okay? Just ending your turn? Okay! I have 100% broken the AI. If I draw a spell card or a trap card, it is over! Granted, Ceasefire does not work as well against this opponent, but since this opponent hasn't drawn any cards, Blade Knight now has 2,000 attack, but then he gets the Command Knight buff, which puts him at 2,400 attack points, which means that this Great Angus ain't so great anymore. And we're gonna have to get in there. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack. That's going to do some damage. Uh-oh. That's right, uh-oh. And then we're going to attack. And then we're going to attack. Oh, Bolt, you're in trouble. You didn't even get to summon Ushioni. You're breaking my heart here. I'm sure all the fans wanted to see you summon it as much as I did. But you know what? Uh, let's see what happens. 16, 16, 16. 16 times 3. Does anyone know what it is? It's 48. And 24 on top of that. Oh boy, I can't do that much math. 48 plus 24, that's 72, I believe. Oh boy, I could almost win the duel in one turn with that. In fact, with Krevons, I'm guaranteed to win the duel next turn. In fact, I can win the duel if he summons an effect monster. Oh no, I, if he summons a Fet Monster, then I play Krabons. Yes, I win the duel, guaranteed. Garen freaking Teed. Alright, it's probably a normal monster, but I'm going to save Krabons just in case it isn't. And I'm going to go for Ceasefire. Marauding Captain 3 would be hilarious. I'm not going to grow, go for 3 Marauding Captains. The fact that I even have 3 is hilarious. Uh, I'm going to summon Krabons, and we're going to test the waters. Did he... In fact, 
do it. Trap hole. Ah, uh, I think that's going to destroy my monster. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So I can't kill him even if it wasn't. If it wasn't an effect monster anyway. Lucky you, Tanner. Although that card sucks, so you lost the duel. Good job. Good job, Tanner. You know what? Just for fun. I'm going to attack you with Blade Knight for game. Go, Blade Knight. Go, enemy controller. And let's change your battle position real quick. Oh, yeah. You want to fight me. There we go. Okay, the first person on this brand new floor has been defeated. Bolt Tanner. I don't know how he made it here with this deck. Granted, I'm sure he has an idea with Ushioni, but he didn't summon it, so... Was not a very impressive duel, all things considered. Are you gonna give me the blue key card that I seek? Ah, uh, things get pretty heated in that duel. Yeah, they were pretty heated. Yay, I got the key card I seek. Alright, now I can use the moving command. And we're gonna go open this door. Yes, sir. And then... We're gonna go up here. And then we're gonna spill in the EAP roulette yet again. Got a four, which is plenty. And then we're gonna get that item. Uh, 10 AP gained, hell yeah. I'll take 10 AP. Uh, I'm not gonna skip this guy because I already skipped him once. It's time. We're gonna find out what Ransborg and his Night Sword deck can do. Now, do you use warriors just like me? I've made it thus far. The days are in bitter anguish after defeat at the hands of Akiza have passed. It is time that I shall once more rise back to the top. I shall now defeat he uh, thee here, then Akiza, and finally Satur. Then I shall be champion. Come now, let us duel. Alright, so I'm guessing they just gave all, well, almost all the characters with uh, background animations, or character animations, you know, they're, they're the ones that are in this area. They didn't give the cop or the the two uh, the cop or the warden because they suck. But still, no offense to Trudge, he's actually pretty good in the Tag Force games. But here, no, I swear as a descendant of the Knight lineage that I shall prevail in a duel, a, a kid, children's card game. Yes, a knight that plays children's card games. What will they think of next? Crebons! What an amazing start! I'm gonna summon Crebons. I'm going to set two cards that I think are important, but are not going to matter if he heavy storms. I mean, I'll, I'll suck to lose Call of the Haunted, but other than that, I, I'm fine. Alright, he does run a Synchro slash Fusion monster, possibly. Interesting. Only one. That actually intimidates me. Because that means he only has one card he cares about. Yikes, he does run my deck, basically. I'm basically this guy. Or is he me? Alright, let's find out. We're on in Captain Special Summons. A Queen's... Oh, God, he runs Joker. That's what that one card is. His only card is a Fusion. And it's the Joker. It's the Joker, baby. All right. Well, Marauding Captain is kind of an intimidating monster. I did not expect him to attack a Marauding Captain. Never in my life would have I expected that. I shall take the 800. I shall take the 800. I'm doing this for Megamorph's sake. I'm going to make this man suffer. Better have a trap. Yeah, I was going to say. You don't have a trap. I'm going to really destroy you. Sasuke Samurai is a good card, but not in this situation. We're going in with the goblins. Goblin attack force. I could synchro summon. And then I'd only destroy one monster, but that'd be fun. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to synchro summon. I don't normally do it, but today's the day. We're going to summon the Iron Chain Dragon. Besides, I wouldn't mind putting some cards in his graveyard. Unless he runs Warrior Returning Alive, but let's just assume he doesn't. Here is the Iron Chain Dragon. Not yet Call the Haunted, but you will be used. Um, let's go ahead and just battle. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that annoying Marauding Captain. That could be a problem. I only have, like, Rageki Break to destroy it after all. Yep. This is why I didn't activate any other cards, because now I'm going to call the Haunted. And now you're going, you're in danger, Ransborg. You're in a lot of danger. Sakuratsu armor ain't enough to stop two Iron Chain Dragons. And it's still the battle phase, so you're not going to be able to get two Marauding Captains if you were going for the Greedy Strat. Where you don't summon them both, you summon one after another. 
All right, all right. So I'm a little bit afraid if this guy does actually pull off the knight combo. Well, I think I just threw away King's Knight, actually. Yes, I did. All of his marauding captains got thrown away. I am so lucky. And he lost King's Knight, so he can't summon Jack's Knight. I'm in, I'm in no danger, unless he has multiple. He probably has multiple. I can't believe I got all of his... He was going to draw all his marauding captains. That's what that meant. That meant he was literally about to draw all of them. I am so lucky. A tribute summon. That was unexpected. Jack's Knight, that's... Okay. You run an equip spell. Is that why you're doing this? Ah, <laughs> the Dragon Slayer. Of course. I activate Threatening Roar. I'm not going to let this happen. You're at what, 26 now? You barely beat me? Okay. You really going to force me to Megamorph? You bastard. I only could stop you that one turn. Alright. Oh, no matter what, I lose my dragon. Damn. Damn, that sucks. Oh, no matter what, I'm going to lose my dragon. Okay, not bad. Not bad, Mr. Ransborg. I'm, I'm actually impressed. Um, you are the Dragon Slayer after all, so I guess it makes sense. But now, I'm going to make you suffer. 5,000 attack, go! Destroy his knight. And now all of his knights are in the graveyard. Jack, Queen, and uh, King. Including all three of his marauding captains, so he can't expect a special summon. Also, I threw away more Queen and some other cards. But what other cards does he rock? His deck seems interesting to me. He's got two Queens. He's got Familiar Knight, which is helpful to him. He runs the Mystic Swordsman combo, so that means if I set a card, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Granted, I'm not really thinking of it, but still. Alright, let's see. I thought I would be destroyed due to his effect. Oh, he has to attack me? Oh, you know what? I'm still going to be destroyed. Do you know why? Because my monster only has 1250 attack due to life points. So that sucks. All right, what kind of card we rocking today? Hayabusa Knight is not strong enough, sir. I don't think you uh, planned this out all that well. Ah, uh, the one card that even if I do negate it, it does not matter. It doesn't even matter if I negate its effect. He'll always get that spell card back. Should have Toriathal Tributed. I didn't... I thought he would use an Equip spell, and I was like, doesn't matter. I have Magic Jammer, but that's the one Equip spell. That's the one card you could have played. I'm going to take some damage this turn. Luckily, Hayabusa Knight it only has 1,300 right now. Oh, man, that's rough. I need to draw one of my better monster cards and destroy him by battle. Like Mystic Tomato. Mage Power, this is not the time, Okay. Not the time. Um, I want to set Sasuke Samurai to defend my life points, but I won't die unless he summons a monster, so we're fine. And if he summons a monster, I'm going to kill him. Thank God he is. Okay. He summons the Mystic Swordsman level 2. Ain't no way I'm letting that thing get to level 4, which it's very hard to do because you have to destroy a monster and do battle damage at the same time. So he can't win by his effect. Yeah, I know. Get your sword back. So whatever monster you get now, it's going to have 300 more attack, but you already summoned this turn. So as long as I draw a decent monster, you're going down. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Where are all my monsters? Are you serious? Am I going to have to do this with Sasuke Samurai alone? This is not the way I wanted to do things, but screw it. All in, baby. If he draws like a Fisher or something, then I wasted it all. 2,000 attack Sasuke Samurai. I was really hoping for another monster card. Ransborg, you're having some trouble there. Also, you're a dick. In the show. Alright, I know you have your equip spell, but my warrior is at 2,000 attack, so I feel rather safe. I feel rather safe. Even though I can't use Raigeki Break or my Magic Jammer. Warrior returning alive would be very good. Regeki Break would also be very good, but let's just not do Regeki Break and let's do this instead. Because Sasuke Samurai's effect will destroy the monster and Goblin Attack Force will win us the duel. That's it, baby. I know this thing looks like it'd be a Beast Warrior, but it's actually or a Fiend, but it's actually a Warrior. Hell yeah! And now we win because now it doesn't even matter that we have 2,000 attack. We're not going to even let him use a flip effect. Which let's see if it had one. It did have an effect, actually, I believe. When he gets destroyed by battle, he gets to special summon level 4 from your hand. And guess what? He can't. 
because I didn't destroy it by battle. I destroyed it by effect, which means Ransborg is out of the tournament. We've knocked out Jin. We've knocked out Ransborg. We're getting all those medium hitters, I guess. There is no justice when you play when you play Yu-Gi-Oh! Ransborg. Your family is ashamed of you, and so am I. Alrighty, guys, that was really fun. This uh, it looks like the final area, but this final area looks very interesting to me. And I can't wait to continue. So, before we do that, it's been a while since I've done some shopping. I got the key card level 1, which I will need to get to Jack Atlas. Who probably will give me the key card number 2 or something. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of shopping. Shopping time. Haven't done this in like 2 episodes, so I missed it. Let's see here. Ooh, what the hell are you? The brilliance of many stars. Hold up. Oh, wait. Let me buy ten of these. Just because it's new. And new is shiny. Let me buy ten of these. Obelisk the Tormentor. How did I not notice this pack? Okay, buy. Buy. I can only buy 50 packs at a time? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This game only lets you buy 50 packs at a time. I want Albus the Tormentor so bad, I'm going to buy out this pack until it's not allowed anymore. Shit, I was going to press C. I pressed C on the wrong one. Give me this pack. Okay, I can only buy 50 packs. Boom. Let's open 50 packs, everybody. First things first, this new Stardust pack. Uh, I do know that Ritual card. That's pretty good. A Ritual Recovery card. That's pretty good. Um, that's an Earthbound Immortal. Hell yeah, we got Uru, I think. Um, there's Max Warrior, I think. That's not bad. I don't... Oh, Majestic Dragon. I do know that card. Um, another Majestic Dragon. Okay. I need Synchro. Oh, Level Eater is busted. Level Eater. Actually, a lot of those cards were busted. Level Eater is really good. Another Majestic Dragon. You can stop with the Majestic Dragons. <gasps> we got Divine Grace. Blah, blah, blah. I can't read that name in time, so who cares? Um, we got Moray of Greed. We got another freaking Uru. Um, we got Mother Spider. So we're getting a bunch of Roman cards. Roman Godwin, that is. Alright, Blind Destroy. Dark Necro Fear. Yeah. Yeah. Barrel Dragon. Yeah. The A Forces. Whoa. A Forces could be very good for me. Born of Heaven. Alright. We got Last Turn, which is. Bust. No, it's it's funny. The A forces, yeah. Barrel Dragon, Bad Reaction Emoji, Air Knight, Parasat. A Legendary Ocean is very good, actually. Fiber Jar is busted. It's banned for sure. Dark Door is annoying. Dark Necrofear. It's always nice to see you. Um, Tyrant Dragon. Funny enough, I do like that card. My friend used to use it on me in real life. Uh, his name is Christian, or his name is Christian. He's not dead. Graceful Charity. Hell yeah. Uh, his name is Christian. He just he moved away. I can't play with him anymore. Alright, Salamandra. I hope you're enjoying Texas, Christian. Ooh, Elemental Heroes. That's cool. I'm actually looking for Opalus, though. Elemental Hero Mudball, man. Oh, shit. I'm liking this pack. Um, Yeah, we're getting some old school cards, but I just want Opalus the Torment. With my Marauding Captain strategy, it's actually possible for me to summon him. Ooh, Anti Regeki. That's such a good card. It stops a ban card. Oh, no, Magician Valkyrie, that's an our Marauding Captain kind of situation. Not as good, but still good. Oh, man, Toon Dark Magician Girl. That's like the best Toon Monster there is, for now. Uh, another Mud Ball Man. Come on, give me Obelisk. Don't put Obelisk on the pack and tell me he's not in the, in the freaking pack. If you put something on the pack, it better be in the pack. Magician's Valkyrie again. I get one more of those. I can, I can consider a Magician's Pack if I had more Magicians. Come on, Obelisk. You know I want you. I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. He's probably not even in the pack. They just put him there to taunt me. Oh, being the Dark Clown's pretty good. They just put him there to taunt me. 100%. Mm. I bought a lot of these and I'm still not seeing it. Okay, I got three Magician's Valkyrie, which is very good. Uh, um, I got plenty of Mud Ball Men. I don't really need any more. Oh, Revival of the Doku Rider. Uh-oh. Am I running a Doku Rider deck? Yeah, this ain't Legend of the... I mean, this isn't uh, Duels of the Roses, so I guess not. Beast of Talwar. That's pretty good. One Tribute Monster. Rocket Warrior's fun. Electrum. Another freaking Electrum. 
Cockroach Knight. Not a lot of effect monsters in this pack, which is fine. I'm just surprised. Aqua Dragon, hell yeah. That's another card I'd like in the Duels of the Roses game. Uh, Call of the Grave, no thank you. Andro Sphinx. Which is the Valkyrie. Where is Obelisk the Tormentor? Give him to me. Fortress Whale. I love Fortress Whale, but come on. I ain't no Mako Tsunami this time. Serpent Night Dragon. I actually do like Serpent Night Dragon. That's Rex Raptor card. Damn. Alright, so even out of rarity in that, that's not... Oh, shit. I pressed B. Well, that sucks. Guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm sad to say I was not able to grab Obelisk the Tormentor if he's in this pack and if he's not banned. Uh, I'll be seeing you next time when we take on the rest of the people on the right side. Bye bye